Here's the hard truth. People don't necessarily want you to succeed. And the bigger your dream, the more people that are gonna come out of the woodwork to try to stop you. As Oliver Emberton said, the only way to avoid pissing people off is to do nothing important. But if you're striving for something important, if you're trying to make real change, if there's something in your life that you are absolutely hell-bent to make happen, you have got to understand that you're gonna be fighting against something. People are going to be pushing back against you and it is going to be your ability to hold true to that vision that's going to determine whether you can pull it off. And as Victor Hugo said, you have enemies? Good. It means you stood up for something at some point in your life. And that's what people miss. They somehow wanna get through this unscathed. They somehow hope that with this grand change that they wanna make, that people just fall in love, that they see your vision, that they fall in line behind you and that they want you to lead them. That's not the way that people work. Having a vision already puts you in an incredibly rare group of people. Being able to see something that other people can't see, that is the role of a visionary, is literally to interpret the world that other people don't even know exists and bring it into fruition and get people excited about it, get them to fall in line. But understand, when you build an army, you will have an opposing force. But as Mark Twain said, keep away from those who try to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great ones, they make you believe that you too can become great. And that's the kind of person that you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with people that believe in you. You want to surround yourself with people that even when they can't see it, they can see you. Even when they don't understand what you're trying to build, they believe in you and they're willing to get in line and they're willing to meet that opposing force. And when you're able to galvanize people around your idea and push it forward and paint for them the world, not as it is, but as it could be, that's when you can make change. But you can't be afraid to piss people off. You have to know that they're coming for you and you have to be willing to fight. Because if you're not willing to fight, you might as well sit down now. So if you're gonna be one of the few that stands up, you've gotta stand up prepared for war.